let's take up this case of internal division in the section formula so if you have a line segment and the line segment has to be divided by a given point the point is situated internally on the line segment only and certain ratio is given how to go about it so if you have a line segment say ab so i write ab is my given line segment and if there is a point p which divides the line segment into the ratio of m is to n this point can be p or c or anything then what will be the position vector of p so definitely the position of vector of uh, p is actually associated with the origin so if the origin is o so it is oc vector which is equal to what which can be given by m multiply by the position vector here plus n multiply by the position vector here so if a vector is given here this is b vector then it is m multiply by the position vector there which is b vector plus n multiply by the position vector here which is a vector upon the sum of ratios which is m plus n right so what we are supposed to find out again i am telling you a line segment is given there is a point this has to be divided what has to be divided the line segment has to be divided with the help of the point so what to do you have to cross multiply the ratios i mean m with the farther one n with the farther one plus them in the denominator now certain cases are possible if i say that m and n so i write case 1 if i say m and n are 1 is to 1 and 1 so the ratio that has to be found out is 1 is to 1 that means what that means this p is exactly the midpoint because if there is a line segment of four units and i say 1 is to 1 is the division you know how to find out right so that means this also should be two units and this also should be two units then only 1 is to 1 is possible and they add up to give 4 so how to do that simply in this particular formula you have to put value of m and n as 1 and 1 respectively then what should be the answer then oc vector is equal to b vector plus a vector upon 2 or half multiply by a vector plus b vector so that is specifically called as the midpoint theorem midpoint theorem you already studied earlier now we are studying in context through the vectors so that is how we study the midpoint theorem of vectors with the help of the particular set formula that we have the other thing which is very important is the second case that we talk about the second case that we have to see is you know this is the particular formula but what if i have to look to this formula with some other angle that means if i have to go into more depth of this formula so here i write the above step now oc vector is equal to mb vector upon m plus n so m upon m plus n multiply by b vector plus n a vector upon n plus n n multiply by a vector upon m plus n now see this is again very important oc vector will be what b vector and a vector are separate if i write it as lambda a vector plus mu a vector i'm sorry if i write it as lambda b vector plus mu a vector you see that i have found out a formula where lambda is equal to m upon m plus n where mu is equal to n upon m plus n so the position vector can be specifically written like this where lambda is m upon m plus n mu is n upon m plus n so lambda plus mu is what if you add m upon m plus n n upon m plus n you get what you get 1 so that is very important where your lambda plus mu is equal to 1 so this is also one important case or one important corollary of this particular section formula that we have started please do not forget what is section formula basically used for it is used either to study the internal division of a line segment or to study the external division of a line segment